I'm rich. I'm rich. I'm rich. I'm rich. I wanna love. Every day and every night, every night. Hey guys, welcome to another video. <laughs> Hi. Um, if you're new here, my name is Rush Cam and I was a lawyer who decided that I'm gonna do YouTube and so I'm here living my life, talking about life, enjoying life and hoping to inspire you guys while doing it. So if you're interested in content like that or if you just love Jamaican YouTubers and you want to be a part of the excitement, subscribe. It supports us. We appreciate it. I love it. You love it. Thank you so much. Um, so in today's video, we're gonna discuss like some of the tips and tricks and things that I didn't know or things that I wish that somebody told me about apartment hunting in Kingston, Jamaica. Things that I think would be beneficial to you guys. Um, but yes, the elephant in the room is... I have a new hairstyle again. Um, but this should not catch you off guard if you follow me on Instagram. So probably you guys should follow me on Instagram so that when anything new happens, you're the first to know. So before we start the video, um, just a public service announcement that COVID is still here. So uh, yeah, remember to, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, mm-hmm yeah all right so we're gonna talk about the apartment hunting process in kingston jamaica now a lot of people on youtube especially daniel eve and rochelin they have done an excellent job at showing you like what are the options and the prices and all of those things and so those people have given you all of that and so much more but i'd like to share my experience with you guys and the things that i would recommend to you guys about the process and what you can do to get there faster what you can do to get something as close as possible to what you like and so on and so forth so before all of that let us just get this out the way mm -hmm. let us get it out the way um so for those of you who are gonna be in the comments and you're gonna be like um you know, like it's better to live somewhere that you own than to rent somewhere, blah, 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 blah. Um, the housing market in Jamaica does not facilitate that simple, oh, I'm going to live here, or oh, I'm not going to live there, or oh, I'm going to buy this, or oh, I'm not going to buy this. That is number one, because most of the places that are really up to any standard of living are pretty expensive that's number one and number two is because i can afford a mortgage okay so let us let us look at the mortgage figure because i can afford 50 dollars per month as a mortgage as a rent it doesn't mean that i can afford 50 per month as a mortgage for this simple reason the mortgage is after i have <laughs> one given my deposit two paid all the fees all of those different things and so and and remember that when you live somewhere that is not yours it's just a completely different consideration like you're not you just pay rent each month and you go right um my apartment came with appliances all of those things and so yeah yeah so if you think that i could afford or if you think that anybody could really and truly afford to buy somewhere and would choose to rent then you're not thinking that's number one and number two is you're kind of like watching somebody's money like you don't think people want to own things of course people want to own things so that is not a conversation i really want to have in the comments because yeah that's number one number two is i've never lived anywhere by myself before so i don't think that the first place i want to live in is somewhere that i'm buying like i'm going to literally move out of my grandparents house and go buy somewhere and live i don't know i don't know if i like a big kitchen i don't know if i like a small kitchen i don't know if i i don't know what i like 
So I have to kiss a couple of frogs before I'm gonna do that. So let's get into today's video, shall we? Never button this up. This have a buzz. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I like this. Mm hmm. Because we're gonna preach. If you're ready to preach, say preach. So it's school time, so I have my book and pencil because we have the notes because at school time. Right, so the first thing that I want to talk about is budget, right? Now, the budget is the most important part. When you're thinking about where you want to rent, you're thinking about your budget cannot be 50% of your salary or your earnings per month. Your budget cannot be a group, like a massive chunk of how much you're gonna earn per month because when you're thinking of a rent, right? You're thinking of it in isolation. So you need to think of all the other things that will come with renting a place. You have to think about your, app, not appliances, because, well, if you need to buy appliances, you have to think about that as well. But you have to think about your monthly amenities. So, um. Your, your, your pay is $100 and your rent is $75. Where's the light? Where's the water? Where's the internet? What are you going to eat? Are you going to put food in your cupboard? Stuff like that. So because you can literally see the money to pay that rent does not mean that you're able to afford it. And you have to bear that in mind because nobody wants to rent a place and like after two months you're just like book shuffling because you're like lord jesus all these different expenses blah 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 it it don't make any sense and so what i there there are different opinions on how much percentage of your earnings rent should be and i'm not gonna go into that but when i was looking for a place i gave myself a figure and i said i can go up by this and i can go down by that not well obviously you can go down but i never cap it so I kind of lowballed my own self in terms of budget and I always knew at the back of my mind that I can go up just a little bit more without discomfort. If you're going to be uncomfortable, that is not your budget for rent. If you're going to be uncomfortable, that is not your rent budget. Your rent budget is supposed to be something that you can lock your eyes, sleep, wake up, throw the money and go about your business because for those people who are going to comment down below about ownership and this and that, you, at the end of the day, you still don't want to be exhausting all your resources to be paying rent. You understand? So that is very important. Now, when you come to the budget, you know, when you're looking in the newspaper, right? Please, people, no matter full your eye, on the other way for like full on the eye. So you can afford a property for fifty thousand dollars and you see somewhere in the paper okay you said 50 but you, you'll work with 60. you look in the paper this is jamaican dollars by the way you look in the paper and you see somewhere for 80. you're just like me me go look me me go fool my eye fool which eye which eye are full why are you fooling your eye for what what is the reason what, what was the reason what was the reason what was the reason what is the reason to fool your eye? You cannot afford it. You cannot afford it. So if you cannot afford it, stay home. If you cannot afford it, stay home. And when I say stay home, I don't mean stay at where you live. I mean, do not go and do that viewing, right? So you have to be very strict with your budget. As I said, I like to give myself, I liked to give myself, or I wanted to give myself a little wiggle room at the top. So I kind of put it at one, position so like i put it at x but i know say so i put a wiggle to y right if there were certain things in place so yeah when you're thinking about your budget as well you must remember that for every okay let us say that we're starting in in jamaica all right let's just get it out of the way in jamaica you can get places as low as thirty thousand dollars in um Port more in Kingston, wherever, 30,000, right? But for every, the way I like to look at it is that for every $10,000 that you add on, there is something that you are gaining. And for every $10,000 that you don't want to add on, there's something that you'll have to sacrifice. So let us talk about that. Location, are you going to be in the middle of Kingston or are you going to be up in the hills? Because you know the houses up in the hills, they're a little bit 
cheaper but you're going to not be central you're going to have to drive all of those things location is one thing security is another thing so you have to consider that you cannot afford to go up you might have to sacrifice security and when i say security i don't mean like um you're going to be in a gun zone boom 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 you yeah. dodge and a this and a that but let us say you prefer to be in somewhere with a gated community if you want a gated community you have to spend a little bit more money okay what else um appliances let us say that you want appliances you're going to know that you're going to have to spend a little bit more money for appliances so for everything that you want or everything that is important to you you will have to know that you might have to spend a little extra money for that and if it is not that important to you and it's not a deal breaker and you, you know mind just making it go on then that is another thing but as it relates to Jamaica especially and generally that is how it goes in Jamaica some of the place them for, for, for $40,000 are not living there I'm not living there I cannot live there right but some of the places for like seventy thousand dollars for example don't look like it worth seventy thousand dollars so that is another thing you have to know about worth right you have to know that something is worth the spend if you're going to spend a hundred thousand dollars for example and you're getting house care land this that that everything and you're very comfortable there and you can afford what did I say? You can afford to spend the hundred thousand dollars. Go right ahead, but you have to know your budget. Now, in terms of hunting for the apartments, I had two realtors. Them don't know, so I had two. So <laughs> I had two realtors. Plus, I was looking at my own. So here's how it go. I had two people that I had contacted because our friends had re friends recommended them to me and I contacted them and asked them if they were willing to help me look, right? But the newspaper, the newspaper, the newspaper is supreme. You get so many different options. And by the way, I know a lot of people say Sunday Greener, but you can check the Saturday do you know because most people double this so them do the Saturday and the Sunday so that is why when you wake up Saturday, Sunday morning and you go buy a Sunday paper and you go out there and just like oh my goodness let me call they're just like the place is gone already the place is gone already because it was already in the Saturday paper and somebody already went and look mark you some of them land out there mm. but yeah so the hunting process for me was um i had two realtors both of them were looking a lot of times they sent me the same things but i also was looking in the newspaper guys a key to it is you see the realtor thing the realtor thing is touchy because it's like the thing that is something for rich people or whatever and the realtors really do have more expensive listings but if you tell them that you have a budget of $40,000 Them can try and help you, you know, so yeah um, But 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 you have to know you have to know what your budget is I can't stress enough the budget thing, but yeah, you have to know you have to know so For me when I was looking I told them the budget a lot of times I was like, you know what? do like do fool my eye when no want to see more than x amount of money okay my budget i never want to pass a hundred thousand dollars i'm gonna tell you i never want to pass a hundred thousand dollars jamaican because i was like if i'm passing a hundred thousand dollars i can simply like really truly like stay home and figure it out and save for a deposit and buy a home but i really would, wouldn't but you get the point that's a lot of money to spend so yeah so I, my budget was a hundred thousand dollars and i was just like guys i don't want it to pass a hundred they're like 105 no they're like 110 no 101 no me no want it pass a hundred thousand dollars and that was it right so you had to you have to know 
how much money you want to spend and communicate that to the realtor and communicate that to yourself when you're looking in the paper. So what is point number one? The point number one is budget, 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 budget. Point number two is when you're hunting, um, you can look in the papers, you can contact a realtor um, and their website. So there's this website that was really good. You can use all the different websites, Coral Banker, you can use, um, is it Kingston? Kingston and St. Andrew Apartments or something like that. Search that in Google, their Facebook pages, all of those things. But you have to be mindful that some of the people are unscrupulous. And so if you're going, you should probably go with a friend or whatever it is. But those are the places. I'm going to list all the different sites and stuff like that down below. But that was it for me. The third thing that I want to talk about is getting your affairs in order as it relates to proof of income. Now, as a creative, I know that a lot of people are just like, well, you know, as creatives, they, they don't want to look at you because you don't have a 95 and you don't have a job letter or whatever. So one of the arguments I made to somebody who was renting a place, I was just like, well, you know that a lot of these people with job letters, like they make $100,000 per month, for example, and $70,000 of that $100,000 is caught up in salary deductions or different things, them have loans or whatever. So they really can't afford your $60,000 place. And so you are discriminating with really and truly no reason. But I understand because why would I want to rent my place to somebody who I'm not sure will be able to afford it. So here is the workaround for us people who are not in um, traditional sectors where you can get a job letter to say XYZ. Get your affairs in order, get your bank statements in order and show them the three last the three last bank statements and let them sh let them see that you have one sufficient funds and also you have a steady flow of money going in and out of the account for them to be able to say, okay, then fine, we think that you're stable enough. But as creatives, you know that that is one of the hurdles that you'll have to cross, but it's really and truly not that serious. So get your affairs in order, get your money in order, um, get two solid references, preferably always, a JP is always a good idea, justice of the peace, always a great idea, and also get um, like a doctor, pastor, lawyer, somebody to say, you know, a good person. Uh, get that in order but those are that is that is the most important part about like the whole proof of income ask them say you know I do not have a 95 I am an independent whatever and I would pref I would like to show you my last three months statements from the bank to show you say I'm rich I'm rich I'm rich, I'm rich, I'm rich. So, yeah. But those are my points. Like, those are the three most important things. And the other thing is, like, for you people who are not from Kingston, I know that, like, if you're coming to Kingston to work, the pressure is on for you to just find somewhere because you can't stay at your mother, you can't stay at your father and all of that. But part of it is, too, when you find the right place, you'll know. Like, you can look in somewhere and say, yeah, man, I see myself living here. Or... No, mm, this is really a deal breaker for me, but make sure that your budget is solid. Make sure that you're not putting your basket where you cannot reach it. Um, make sure that in the hunting process, you walk with a friend, but also don't walk with too much friend. Because when I was going to look at places, I never went with anybody. I went by myself because I don't really care what anybody else has to say about where I am going to live. And I know what I want. But... Especially women, um, young women, you don't know who you're gonna encounter, whatever. So really and truly you're going for the purpose of safety. So carry somebody with you. The hunting process is also better if you have a realtor, but if you cannot, if you don't have a realtor or the person is just like, boy, this is not within my budget. Because some of the realtors will tell you that you want a $50,000 place and the clients that they have not renting anywhere for lower than 75. You're just like, it was nice to know you. Let's do it again. <laughs> Thanks, I'm out. But yeah, you have to you have to know all of that. And also with the hunting process, 
online look up things online look in the paper buy the saturday paper as well as the sunday paper because the saturday paper has some of the similar listings and buy gas and taxi fare because you're going to have to drive up and down and buy credit for your phone so you want to do all of those things to make sure set some time aside and get going last but not least proof of income make sure that you're able to show that you can afford the rent for at least three months and that is that um as i said my budget was 100 and i told them that i wasn't passing it i looked i looked i looked i looked i was looking for a month and eventually i found somewhere that was within my budget and that would work for me if your budget is 50, don't feel any way. Work with the 50, you'll find somewhere for the 50. But as I said, for every $10,000 that you add or whatever, you might have to compromise on some things. Even me, with my rent, I'm compromising on some things because, um, you know, there is no place that is perfect. And also, if you want that additional perfection, you're going to have to spend additional money, money that I don't wish to spend. So I hope that this was useful. If you guys have any questions, let me know down below. I know that this video was like just really and truly a conversation on um, the entire renting thing. Um, but I did promise that I would have done it when I did the empty apartment tour and I'm a man of my word. And so it is very, it was very important to me that I did this. Um, as I said, if there's anything that you guys need to know, let me know. And I am a resource for you guys. I'm here. We're on this journey together of life and I appreciate the support. Before you go, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to comment, tell a friend to tell a friend and like this video and share it on your social media and tag me so that I can repost it and big it up. Thank you again. Oh, I have a shout out. So this weekend, I have a shout out. Hold on. Okay, so this weekend I went to Ochi, right? And I was there with my friends. And um, so me and Naomi are walking through. And I just hear, Rush Kiam! Rush Kiam! It's like, oh my god, it's me, it's me, it's me. Um, and so they asked for a shout out. So I would like to give a special shout out to Faith and Nico. Faith and Nico, has a, they have a YouTube channel. Um, and I was just... The, uh, I was just happy to, yeah, I'm, yeah, so shout out to Faith and Nico, um, guys, check out their channel if you're interested, and yes, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, after three, we're gonna say pack up, one, two, three, pack up, I'm out.